Hello again. Welcome to another video on preparing interactive exercises using Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. You may have seen my previous video on interactive worksheets using PowerPoint presentation. Many of you wanted to know more ways to prepare interactive exercises. So in this video we will learn how to prepare a word search or a word maze and similar other exercises. These interactive activities are very flexible and can be used for all subjects. So let's get started by first preparing a word base with me Dr. Sunanda Roy. This is what a typical word maze looks like. It has a list of words shown on the left which students have to find in the word maze given in the right. As the students give the correct answers, the teacher can click and the frames will appear around the words to show the answers. Now there is a slight problem, actually two problems with this. The first problem is that it does not look very attractive. And the second one is that the teacher has to go according to the sequence of the words given in the list of words. What if the students are able to find a word not according to the sequence in the list? Um, for example, what if the students found the third word first, that is lily? Then it becomes difficult since the animation for the frames is according to the sequence. Don't worry, there is an option for it. So let's try to add some color to this slide and make the exercise more interactive with trigger animation. Have a look at this word maze. It looks so bright and colorful. All we have done is that we have substituted the words with pictures. You can find these beautiful pictures online and you can download them. There are different websites where you can get free pictures which are copyright free. For example, you can go to pixabay.com where you can get such kind of images and pictures which are free of any copyright issues. So you download these pictures and you can put it around the word maze. You can also put numbers that are there to indicate the pictures over here I have given one two three four now for example suppose while the teacher has given this word maze the students have been able to identify the third picture that is the lotus and also has been if they have been able to find out the word in the word maze in that case all the teacher has to do is to click on the picture lotus and magically the frame appears around the word lotus. In the same way, suppose the students next are able to identify the picture rose and are also able to find out that the rose word rose is hidden over here in the word maze and tells the gives the answer to the teacher. Then the teacher just clicks on the picture of the rose and the frame appears around the word. Similarly, when the, te the students identify this picture as Lily and tells the teacher that Lily is in the, this part of the word maze, then the teacher just has to click on the answer or the picture and the frame comes automatically. The same thing is with Pansy. Now, in an interactive mode, the teacher can give instructions to the students saying that the letters are which are placed horizontally are called as rows so you have row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 row 5 row 6 and the letters which are um, arranged vertically they are called columns so you have column 1 2 3 and so forth and therefore the students can give the answer to the teacher saying that okay the word row starts in column 2 and row 1. So the teacher also knows and the students can say that it is diagonally placed and so the teacher also comes to know that yes the students have found the answer. So this word maze can be used 
both during online sessions as well as face to face sessions. So let's get started on learning how to prepare this beautiful interactive word maze. This is a plain slide. The first thing that we need to do is we go to insert and we need to insert a table. It's going to be a 6 by 6 table. See over here how the number keeps on changing as I am selecting. So you've got 6 by 6. So you have 6 rows and 6 columns. Once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is you have to go to design and select the one which is no style table grid. Once this is done, now we need to design over here. Over here, we have to arrange or we have to make changes in the height. Let's take this as 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters. And over this or here too, we will make it 15 centimeters. Right? So we have a table which is it looks like this. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to insert the letters in it. So for example, we will put over here, actually put it in caps lock. So we put R, okay, we put O, S, E and over here L, I, L, Y. So first thing that you have to do is you have to actually put in the correct answer. L O T U S. Lotus because L is shared by the word lily and lotus so you can put it in this manner and to make it a little challenging we will use put pansy P -A. We will put it backwards to make it a little challenging for the students. Now we need to actually format the text. So we go to home. We make it bold. Right. We put it in the center. Again, we need to increase. Right. Okay. And in a layout, we will put it in the center vertically. Right? Okay. So, we have got all the, the answers that have been put over here. Okay? So, let's see how it looks. Right? So, these are all the answers. So, here what we have done in this slide, I have put in all the answers. And over here, as we had said that we have just downloaded pictures that were there from the from um, the internet, and I have just pasted it over here uh, from whatever I have say I had saved after downloading. And now next, what we have done is that we have to give numbers. So we have given over here. What we have done is we have given numbers over here. So the same thing we will do. We will go to insert, we go to text box and over here uh, I can put number 3. I have to format, we have to make it red in color. We will put it bold and center and we shall also increase the size of the text. Like for example here the text is 32 size. Right, so it should also match over here. Number three, we will put it as 32 size. Over here also we can put a drop down box and over here it comes. So let's put it in the center. Right, okay. Same thing that we have, we have to do. So over here, since I've shown it, we will just uh, duplicate it. So for duplicating this box, we will uh, press Ctrl D and we get a duplicate and we will put it over here and I will put this as number 4. Okay, so this is how we give the numbering to the pictures. Right, 
the next slide we we see that what I have done is that I have just put in randomly letters in between. How can that be done? We go back to the previous slide. So for example, over here, I have put A, over here, I have put B, uh, then let's say D and so on. So in this way, because we have formatted the box, that therefore the letters are also coming in the same way. Now for just for your information, I have just uh, put the answers in bold, but this is not required. So similarly, I have just the next text, the next slide, you will see that all the letters look alike. I hope you have understood how to prepare the maze. Once the maze is prepared, just be careful that when you are entering the other letters in the maze, it should not make up a word. So try and put the letters which normally don't uh, match with each other, right? So BD, very few words start off with BD. First thing that we need to do is that we need to go to home. And over here, you have what is known as select and selection pane. Now, in the selection pane, it shows you all the things that are there on the slide. So, let's go to this first picture. That's picture number four. So, picture number four, we will first give it the name as Rose. Okay. Then, picture number six, let's rename it. All you have to do is just click on it and lily picture number three okay that's over here so this is lotus and picture number eight this is pansy right now once our the pictures have been named then it becomes very easy now what we need to do now we need to prepare the boxes the frames so let's go to insert then we go to shapes and we pick up this which is called as frame right so first thing let's try to do for the rows so we prepare a frame which looks like this okay and we need to make it diagonal right so before that, we can go to format, shape, you don't need to put an outline, you can fill in the shape with red. Once this is done, you can just make it diagonal. See, you get this uh, circular arrow, it, it's a arrow which has been put over here and you need to place it around rows okay you can do a few adjustments so to see that it is placed properly once this is done now you need to give animation now the first thing that you have to do over here animation we can use the wheel animation and we can reduce the duration so that it comes a little faster but we need to put a trigger to this that is it will appear only if you click on something else now we will try and link this animation to this picture so for that what you need to do is that you need to go to trigger and on click off and you have rows so it gives an animation over here for rows so when you click on this, this text box appears. Again, we do another one. We have to put in another text box, uh, um, another frame, sorry. So you go to frame. I'll just repeat it so that it you come to know about it. All right. So this is Lily over here. What do you have to do? You have to go first. We need to change the color 
So we go to home and we can change the color to red and no outline. We can put it this way. Next, we give animation and over here, you can give the wheel animation. You can reduce the duration. Now, I would like to show that there could be some people who are using the previous versions of PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So, over here, what you can do is that we need to give a trigger to this. So, over here, we just click on it and go into effects option. Under effects option, you will have various options. You need to go to the timings tab, go to trigger and over here, if start effect on click off when you drop down uh, drop down box menu and you can click on lily and ok and it comes right so uh, we can again just duplicate this select it control D and you will get a duplicate so we can put it around lotus Right, but we have to change the animation. So, in over here, what we will do, we will just simply go here, go to effects options, go to timings, and over here, trigger start at the click off. Now that was Lotus, so we go to Lotus. Okay, so Lotus will come in the same way. All we can do is control D. So, you get Pansy and we can put the box over here. If you want, you can just resize the frame over here. And now again, we are going to put it on a trigger. So, you can go directly to the timing uh, effect. Go to trigger and start click of Pansy. Okay. And that's it. Your maze is ready. Let's have a look. So you have all these letters and uh, you have the word maze and the pictures. So when you click on Pansy, there the frame comes. For Lotus, it comes over here. For Rose and for Lily. So in this way, you can have your word maze interactive, colorful and um, it's great fun to see students um, being so interactive and enjoying the evaluation or assessment part of a lesson. Otherwise, assessment can become a little boring if it is only related to only questions being answered. So, this is how you can prepare a word maze. Uh, the same technique can be used for some other exercises. Over here, we have select the odd one out. The same manner I have prepared a, a table. All I have done instead of um, putting letters, I have put words over here and they have to find the odd one out. As they give you the answer, you just have to click and the frames appear. Now you Another way is for smaller children. Over here, you can just take pictures. Again, you can insert, download pictures from the internet, but be sure that they are copyright free and uh, royalty free and um, in that manner you can just stick the, or paste these pictures and then ask the students and one by one as they give the answers uh, you click and the frames will appear around the correct answers so it's the same technique regarding the frames uh, all you have to do is you for example over here i'll just show you that this in format it is the shape fill is blue in color you can make it green you can make it pink you can go into more colors over here you can select different colors over here so you have an option of different types of colors so in this way you can um, try out different colored frames and make your exercises colorful for your students so Another way of using the frames is uh, select the correct options. This is something like an MCQ. 
So a multiple choice question where a question has been given over here and there are multiple choices and as the students give you the correct answers you again click and you can put a frame around the correct answer and it appears on the click. So in this way you can prepare um, multiple choice questions and um, other exercises, the uh, previous exercises for different subjects, these exercises can be used and for all different standards. And uh, so this will help the students understand and you also to understand whether the students have followed whatever you have taught or whatever has been discussed in the class. I hope you will try out these uh, interactive exercises with your students. Do watch my earlier videos on interactive worksheets using PowerPoint presentation. You will find the link to the video in the description box and even on the screen. Uh, if you find this video useful, please like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.